Hello everyone, welcome to DA College video. My name is Yanda. Today I want to teach you how you can get a day off, right? How you can talk to your boss or the human resource in your company and tell them that you're not coming. You're going on vacation or for the other reasons. In some companies, um, there are just like different rules, you know, just like the rules of just like getting day off is different from a company to another company. Some of them, they're just more relaxed and they don't really care if you just get a day off for a day or two, but some of them, the situation is tougher or more critical or they don't really like it if you get a day off. In some companies, um, for example, they have two weeks or three weeks of vacation some of them they have just less than that just like for example a week or two but for just like getting a day off some companies they have paid day off or some of them they don't have it it really depends on the policy of the company that you're working for but anyways whenever you want to get a day off you have to inform your boss that you're not going that day um so just have it in your mind whenever you want to just like ask for a day off you usually have to contact your boss directly if it's a very big company probably you need to contact your human resource but usually you're going to contact your boss whenever you want a day off um, so whenever you're asking for a day off two things um, are very important to mention so one of them is the date that you're not going the other one a reason why you're not going okay so you have to just like mention it in your email or just like if you call them first of all the date and a day and a date and a reason why you're not going the way that you write the date you know in just like in speaking or even writing in North America so first of all you have to uh, mention the month right and after that the day and the year so you have to say November 5th 2009 for example November is the month so you should just like keep it first right so first you have to just say the month second the day just don't forget you have to use ordinal number first second third fourth so you never say one two three okay for the date you must use ordinal number right fifth for example november 5th 2019. now let's talk about the reason whenever you want to just like uh, ask for a day off you must mention why you want to uh, actually get a day off the reason um, you have to start it with I have or I need right so I have a doctor's appointment okay so this is the reason you're just saying or I need I have or I need or I need to go to a parent meeting at my child's school these are the reason but you must use have or need I need and just like say the reason or I have and then the reason if you want to go on a vacation you must use want okay you have to start your email with want I want to go on a vacation okay if you're just like calling your boss on a very short notice for example just uh, you wake up and see for example your kid has a fever and you have to take your kid to a doctor and you cannot go to work you must call your actually boss directly because it's very important to do so and you have to just like speak very directly and tell your boss that you can't go okay so you have to use a very direct phrase i can't go to work today because of this okay or i need a day off because and just say the reason but you have to be very direct whenever you want to just like 
call your boss on a very short notice. Um, if you're sick or so you have some sort of illness, so you can start your email with uh, the reason with I have, for example, I have the flu or I have a headache. Since asking for a day off is just like kind of a formal request, you have to start it with dear, right? Dear Mrs. Johnson or Miss Johnson, I'm writing to request some time off. So you have to start your email like that, okay? So I'm writing to request some time off. Now here, as I said, you have to just exactly say when okay the date is very important between monday february 18th and friday march 8th up to here is the date and here is the reason in order to work on my mba dissertation which is due for submission on march 30th Okay, so you see all the dates are ordinal number, okay? So here you say why you want a day off. You have to explain it directly and clearly. I have spoken to Chris who has agreed to cover for me. It means he has agreed to do, the, to do my job when I'm not around, right? When I'm not at work, Chris, okay, I've spoken to Chris who has agreed to cover for me during my absence. He's doing my job when I'm not at work. Okay, so whenever I'm just like absent from my work. So you can continue like that. During my leave, I would be fully reachable by phone. It means you can contact me anytime if you need any help or any questions, an email to answer any questions or provide any assistance needed. It is very important that you just assure your boss that you were, uh, actually you were very thoughtful and actually you were thinking about just like how the other people just like um, are going to cover for you and so you want to make sure everything just like all going very smoothly so it's very important to mention that to your boss that you just like ask someone to cover for you and so you're reachable if they want to contact you by either by phone or email or whatsoever Please let me know if you need any additional information. Thank you for your consideration of my request. It is very important to thank your boss for uh, considering your request, okay? For just like requesting for a day off. So thank you for your consideration of my request. Best regards. And here you have to, just like your signature, you have to write your name at the end of the email. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it is very useful for you. And next time you want to just like get a day off. So just like consider all these tips that I told you today. Thank you and have a nice day.